Crazy Whiskey here with something awesome from Cooler Master, the HAF Stacker 935. HAF stands for the high airflow design that Cooler Master has come up with for years now with these beautiful cases, honeycomb design as you can see there. This is a modular two case combo that I'm reviewing here. Lots of room, of course, for expansion and configuration. If you wanted to put an EATX, which is an extra large board, in there no problem large video cards you can have multiple obviously in here and uh, configure things so that way you have lots of room to maneuver and put things like power supplies can be at the top the bottom you can have additional hard drive cages at the top instead of on the side lots of uh, options for radiator water cooling of course this is a water cooling dream if you're deciding to use that this is an awesome case for that and let's take a look at the top portion here that little sliding case that just slides on there. I'll show you how to install that in just a second. Huge tinted window on there to show off all your goods, which is awesome. I love that look. And again, let's take a look at this top little guy here. This one here uh, can be configured at the top or at the bottom. I'm going to show you the top portion first, as you can see here. It comes with the standard look and feel of the uh, high airflow design. You can see at the bottom of it, has all the holes so you can route your cables through from the bottom to the top should you want to put additional water cooling or drives or fans and you need to route those cables from the from the bottom to the top so very nice that they've done that maybe you want to put the water cooling kit at the top very nice again slides into place locks in there and don't forget to put in the screws to fasten it in place okay you can see the screws are at the bottom of those rails now should you uh, want to add more to this, well, you have to add your own fans. It does come, though, with a small 80 millimeter fan. So this is assuming that maybe you have a water cooling kit or maybe you, you're going to put hard drive cages at the top and you want some airflow coming in. Not too much, but just enough for whatever it is that you might have in there. Dust filters are provided, of course, in the front covers and um, optical drive bay option is available as you can see there so you can slide in and have that ready now looking again at the inside of this like I said it's something that you have to figure out what you want to do you want to set this up as a server Do you want to have triple fans going here along the top of course it has a dust filter thumb screw design do you want to um, install a power supply maybe at the top here water cooling so you have to really plan ahead and think about how you want to configure this um, as you can see here, three hard drives can uh, fit in there nicely. You can take the hard drive cages that it comes with on the bottom and put them here at the top. And uh, I'll show you a picture of that in just a moment. Here we've got the bottom portion, of course, power. you got mic, headset, two USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, and of course, I got optical drive bays, three of them at the top. And then underneath that, you would have to install your own cooling option so again when it comes to cooling cooler master is a pro on this they've left it open because we're not quite sure again how you want to use this has dust filters on the front panel but of course you would want to install some intake fans so on the front here above these uh, three drive bays you would have to put in some cooling okay so on the front here two um, 120 millimeter fans would be great okay just like I did right here, I got from Cooler Master two additional fans and install that. Um, at the top here, you can install your radiator underneath, okay, or additional cooling fans should you want to do that, or just have uh, no fans and then have them at the top, on the top portion. There is the beautiful tinted window, which I just removed to show you the inside of the case here. And you can see again the holes, the options to install your radiator at the top or your water cooling you can pass your cables through there and a large hole there on the motherboard tray for your CPU cooling needs as you can see there's lots of twist ties uh, grommet holes there for routing all your cables so cable management is excellent on here as well and of course you've got your two cages which I mentioned you can actually take out these two cages I'll show you that and put them at the top on the small little case so you can have hard drives only at the top for example so that way you have lots of room at the bottom for your video cards and stuff now should you want to leave this in here that's fine you can just take out the uh, tray which is very nice you can uh, snap things into place it actually widens and shortens itself and um, you just need to align the holes on the hard drive slide them into place there lock them in and then that's pretty much it. 
The cage itself, once you take out the screw that holds the whole cage, you can just unlatch it and uh, like I said, install your hard drives through there and slide it back into place. And if you don't like this design, you can take those cages and install them in the smaller chassis at the top instead and have that like um, a whole row of cages for hard drives only, for example. Okay, so you do have options on changing this around. Now, optical drive bay, lock and load right there, slide it into place, align the holes, and toolless design you go. Again, holes for water grommet, if you've got your output there, you've got your fan, standard, and of course, eight PCI uh, slots there, plus one, okay, and your power supply uh, at the bottom so you can have a power supply at the bottom or you can have one at the top or you can have two okay for that matter looking at the other side of the case you've got nice cable management capabilities again you're gonna have lots of room to route things through here and through the top should you want to do that and um, twist ties water grommet uh, holes are available at the back and of course it all depends on how you want to configure this and set it up but uh, I do like the fact that they added a SSD um, a section at the back of the tray so you can utilize that space. Here is what I'm talking about reconfiguring the way the case looks. You can have the top portion with the lid and then put the case that's larger on top of the small version or you can leave it the way I had it at the beginning which is like this. Okay so here it is filled up with some stuff to give you an idea on having multiple video cards, water cooling, two power supplies, additional drives. They've even added a a micro ATX uh, board in there so I mean you could have a mini system on the top but uh, I wouldn't recommend that to have multiple system set up I would have this to have multiple cooling set up so that way you can have like an awesome backup system multiple raid design have your cages at the top water cooling in place beautiful awesome case here is what it comes with with a back plate so you can cover the top mini chassis portion and again, all the screws, twist ties, and extension cable there for power on the Molex and stuff like that, that, you know, it's nice to have. And uh, definitely recommend this beautiful case if you want to stack things and uh, have an awesome box with lots of room, lots of storage and cooling capabilities. Definitely nice to have. I'll add the latest pricing below the video. I'd like to thank Cooler Master for providing it. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.